Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Gani Coder, and in this series of videos, I am solving hack nine Python challenges. So our today's challenge is collections dot ordered dictionary. And ordered dictionary is a dictionary that remembers the order of keys that were inserted first. If a new entry overrides an existing one, the original insert position doesn't change. Here, as you can see in the example, when we use a ordinary dictionary. And insert some elements, then getting a random sequence of the elements. But when we use the order dictionary, then we are getting the sequence as they were inserted. Now let's see the task. You are a manager of a supermarket. You have a list of n items with their prices, and your task is to print item name and net price in the order of its first occurrence. Input format will be like this. First line contains the number of items n, and the next n line contains the items name and price. Our output format will be like this: print item name and net price in the order of its first occurrence. Let's see the sample input. Here, nine means the total items is nine. Now, banana, fries, potato chips, apple juice, candy, apple juice. As you can see, the apple juice occurs second time. But its incisor position doesn't change, which is the third position. It doesn't change. We have to just update our value. Now let's code. We are first going to input our module. So from collections, import order dictionary. Now we are going to initialize our order dictionary. So let's check the variable of od is equals to order dictionary. Now we are going to use for loop to take the values of items name and their price. So for i in range integer input. Now item name blank and price is equals to input dot i partition. Here, what is I partition? Let's go to the Visual Studio Code. Here, we have a string subscribe to Gani Coder, and we are going to print string dot I partition two. What it will do? It will just partition the string into three parts. First, the two. Another part will be before two and after two. When I run this code, you see here we get the three parts. First, the two, another string with the before two, and another string with after two. Now we are going to the blank means in between there is blank. So item name blank and price. We, now we are going to check if our item already exists in the OD. So if item name not in Od means we have to insert it. So Od of item name is equals to integer price. Okay, but if it is exist, then we have to just increase the price. So item name plus equals to integer price. Okay, now our work is done. We have to just print the answer. So for i in od dot items, here we can get the value of our items by using dot items dot keys dot values. The item will will give me back the list of tuples with two values. Every tuple containing two values, the key and the value. Okay, so in od dot items, I am just going to print. Star i because I want both the values of key and value on the same line with a space. So I will use the star. Now let's run our code and see what we get. Okay, so let's run our code and see what we get. 
our sample test case 0 is successfully run. So let's submit our code. Our all 6 cases is successfully run. If you like this video, then don't forget to click like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive our latest video updates. And if you want to see my source code, the link is in the description box below.